I woke up one day about 40, of age 45 and I realized I had a theory of happiness which was completely flawed. My theory was if I work really hard and I am really successful, people will, you know, give me a lot of recognition and reward and I'll be happy. And I realized where that happened. It started happening in school. Every time I got good marks, the teacher smiled and my mother gave me a hug. Every time I didn't get good marks, there were frowns. So like an obedient dog, I tried to get good marks. Then I went to join the company. Every time I did some good work, boss was happy, gave you a raise, a promotion. Every time you didn't do it, you got a kick. Okay. So you again, you're trained. Okay. So you get on this treadmill. The problem is, like an alcoholic, you need to drink more and more to get the same high. And one day you wake up and you say, man, how long can this continue? I'm no longer enjoying this. I'm no longer happy. So I spent 10 years uh, you know, reading about the literature from different religious faiths. I went to a counseling to understand this issue of happiness. First of all, happiness has nothing to do with success or achievement or what you have in your life. You know, we all know people who have everything and are miserable. We all equally know people who have nothing, but they're always smiling. So it's an attitude. It's a psychologist called the synthetic. Synthetic means it's made, manufactured by our mind. And so the trick here is to control your thoughts. The second thing I learned painfully is the more you think about yourself, the more unhappy you're likely to be. The more you lose yourself, the more happy you are. So you can only be happy if you forget about yourself. It's been a very good lesson for me. The third one is acceptance. And, you know, I there was a beautiful moment for me when the shoe dropped. Irfan Khan, the actor, he was dying, very young, cancer. And the, the person was interviewing, he said, how are you able to smile with it? You know you're going to die in two months. said, well, I ha I'd hope life would be different. But life has no obligation to give us what we expect. And then I put that with Dalai Lama who said, happiness comes from liking what we have rather than having what we like. Okay. So this is very hard for me because I used to think, yeah, I wish I were a big CEO of a big company like Satya Nadella at Microsoft. Okay. Why have I not become that? And I used to go a little crazy. Then I realized, well, life has not turned out too badly for me. So let's be grateful for that and enjoy that. So cultivating this acceptance is very, very important. And the final piece around happiness is relationships. You know, loneliness is the biggest driver of unhappiness. And the more we are connected with each other, the happier we are.